by surprising my child. But is there any reason you want to leave? Are you not happy here with us? No, 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 not at all, Papa. I couldn't be happy anywhere else but here. Then stay. Mama, it's not like I'm leaving forever. It's just for a couple of days or weeks to get me some job. But how are you sure you're going to get a job? Papa, it's not like I'm looking for some big job now. Maybe a maid or a cleaner or something to at least fetch me some money. They say the city is dangerous. Where are you going to stay? Mama, I'll, I'll find some cheap hotel to stay. Huh? A young girl in a hotel in a city? Papa, I'm 24 years old. I, I think I can take care of myself. We brought her up well. I think she can take care of herself if she wants to stay. Mama, Papa, don't worry. I'll be fine. It's just for a couple of days till I get a job. And if I don't get anything, I'll come back. It's okay. When are you going to leave? Tomorrow morning, Papa. Now we give you our blessings. Thank you so much, Papa. Thank you so much, Mama. Thank you. Darling! Yes. Uh, I, I heard your voice over the balcony. What is it? Is it not the stupid people you employed as workers? Eh? All they do is hang around like little fools. They don't do anything. All they do is eat, 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 and still cannot walk. <gasps> calm down, darling. Calm down. You do not need to walk yourself up. Why would I be walked up? Why? When people cannot just do simple job, just simple work, clean this place, they cannot do anything. Then I am tired of talking. I am sick and tired of talking. Okay, ah, darling. Okay. Jeez! Okay. Sit. Oh. Now please sit down, darling. Just sit. Unbelievable. There's something I want to tell you. Um, darling, whose bags are those? They are mine, sweetheart. My son, Oscar, just came in from London. Oscar, my wife, Lady D. <laughs> Darling, you didn't tell me your son was coming. I didn't know my I'm sorry I did not give any prior notice to my arrival. <laughs> no, um, it's just that you um, should have told us so that, you know, we can um, have a proper arrangement, a proper... It's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, same here. I have always wanted to meet you when my father told me that he was getting married again. Finally, here we are. At last. At last. Mm. Now why don't you go in and settle in? We'll have time to talk later. Uh, um, are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? Um, continental? I'm not hungry. I'll see you all later. So where are you going to? Your room is still upstairs. Well, Father, this time I think I'll be staying in one of the flats in the compound. Oh, no, no, no. You can actually stay here. It's not a problem. We'll, we'll, we'll fix you in. Listen, just like Porter. I like my privacy. So, I guess I'll see you all later. I have to go and freshen up before I hit the town. <sighs> Once again, it was nice meeting you, Lady T. <laughs> Honey, you look tensed. Are you okay? <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm good. Uh, for a moment there, I thought you know my son. No. <laughs> what gave you that impression? From the look in your eyes when you saw him. Oh. <laughs> Darling, I wasn't expecting him. You know, and I, I, I didn't know what he would think of me. You know, a young girl like me, married to his father and all that. I didn't know what to expect. Come on, honey. My son had always wanted me to get married. Since five years, 
after his mother died. So he is happy for me. I hope so. Yes. You see, darling. Now for over one year. And I love you so much. It's what matters most. So, don't get your head worried for anything. I love you. Now let me take you upstairs and cool your nerves. Come on. <clears throat> Was that your husband going out? Yes. That was your father. Why do you have to rope it in? What have you done? Listen, it wasn't my fault. Oh. I can see clearly. So, what would you like to eat? I'm not hungry. I'm going out, so tell me where can I find the keys to the cars? Um, well, that means you'll be going out with my own car. No, thank you. I'll take another. of what you want me to do. Sex between two adults. Come on, baby. You are crazy. You are... I want you to leave this place right now. Babe, come on, don't go like that. You know you want me. I don't want you. No, I don't want you. Get out of my sight. Get the hell away from me. Thinking about your mother. Mama, I didn't hear you coming. I know. Do you miss her? I miss her. I miss not knowing the woman she is. Tell me, what kind of woman was she? She was a beautiful woman. Nice to a fault. Thank you, Mama. I wish she was still alive. I wish to. I 
Have you finished packing? Yes, Mama. But, Mama, what about my father's family? Didn't my mother mention anything about him? We wouldn't know. Wait. So, my father could still be alive? Maybe. We never knew. You try and go to bed early so that you can wake enough. Thank you, Mama. Good night. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you are you are you okay? I'm I'm hey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. L let me take you to the hospital, please. Are you, are you sure you're where, 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 where are you going to let me let me drop you off or let me do something for you I, I don't have anywhere to go i'm not from around i'm looking for a job any job uh, well maybe maybe i can help you can yes thank you so much just, just get in get in Wretched pig find herself in this house. <laughs> Where are the staffs? Who allowed you through the gates? lose your job. Is this how you allow every street dog into this compound? She's not a dog. Oh, Oscar. I think it's very insensitive and callous to call a fellow human being a dog, especially when you don't even know who she is. Um, I... Do you know her? She's my friend. Do you have any friends? Me? No. Good. Maria, are you done? Please bring it to my flat. Come. Come, let's Thank <laughs> you. 
Aha. Maria. Sir. How is she? She's fine, sir. She's taking her bath now. Oh, okay, okay, that's that's good. So how's the pyjama? Fine, fine. She got one to wear. And I told her I will watch this one and bring it in the morning. Oh, that's 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 good. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's no problem, sir. Um, I will be leaving now, sir. Oh, okay. And um, do you want anything? No, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm fine. Has she eaten anything? Yes, she did, and very well at that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow then. Yes, sir. Good night, sir. All right. Good night. Let's go. I needed us to see before you breeze out from the house today. We have not really sat down to talk since you came back. I guess we need to sit for a father and son chat. What do you want to talk about, father? First of all, I... I want to know your plans now that you're back. Or do you want to keep living here all the days of your life? Do you want me to leave your house? I'm not saying that. Yes, I know we've had our differences and all that. You've stayed in London for three years, and now you're back. Do you want to look for a job? Do business? What? Is that a too much a question for a father to ask the son? I'll let you know when I decide on what to do. All right, good, if you say so. There's something else I want to ask you. What do you think about my wife? I, I, I don't understand. Well, yeah, your candid opinion, my son. You've been around for a couple of days. You've seen her. What do you make of her? Well, I... I, I, I don't know, Father. I mean, if, if you like her and she makes you happy, then, I mean, that's, that's fine. But if you are asking if she would fill the void of a mother, well, that's, that's a big no. Why do you say that? I don't know. I just know she can't. Are you saying she's not good enough to be my wife? That's not what I said, Father. What I said was that... I know what you said. And I know what you mean. You think because she is young and beautiful, she's a gold digger or something? Admit it, admit it, son. I saw how you were looking at her the day you arrived. Come on, father, stop putting words into my mouth. I have nothing against her. If she makes you happy, then that's fine by me. You, are you, you... Um, Eva, this is my father. Father, oh. meet Eva. Good morning, sir. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too, Eva. Who is she? She's my personal assistant, father. Oh, personal assistant. I'm sorry to disturb you. Oh, that's all right. I'm on my way out. <laughs> I hope to hear from you like you said. Good night. All right. Thank you very much, sir. For what? For the post, um, the job. I've never done anything like it before. Well, you will learn. I don't even have the qualification. 
I never went to the university. It doesn't matter. All I need is your ability to learn. I am. Yes, I am. I am willing to learn. Very good. Thank you so much. So, what do you have for me to do today? Aha! Let me think about it. I don't understand. I don't understand. What is the fuss about? It's not like I'm asking you for the word. You call giving you 400,000 naira for shopping a force. And to note that I give you 250,000 naira three days ago. So? I am a sophisticated woman. Not some go go girl. Besides, you knew that before we got married. I have needs and tastes. I'm a classy woman. You knew all that before we got married. In fact, you said that was one of the reasons you got married to me. So why are you making it look like I'm one cheap girl? I didn't say that. The, all these things I'm doing, everything just to look good, is because of you. It's because I want to make you proud. I'm already proud and happy to have you as my wife. Uh, I don't really care how much gold or diamond chains you buy. All I know is that you are very perfect for me as my wife. And I love you so much. And I love you too, darling. You know what? Let's just forget about the money i want you to be happy okay no i want you to be happy how much is four hundred thousand naira i'll give you the money yes. <laughs> thank you baby <laughs> thank you thank you so much i love you so much babe i love you with all of my heart i love you too <laughs> My sunshine. <laughs> All right, let me go do something about the money now. Oh, okay. I I'll be waiting. All right, <laughs> I'll be waiting. All right, darling. <laughs> I'm waiting. Hey, you don't have to do that. Maria will soon be here. Mm, it's nothing. I did this at home every day. Good morning. Good morning. How? I hope you slept well. I've never slept better in my entire life. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She look really, really good. Oh, well, thank you. Actually, I have a meeting in town, so... Uh, yeah, I'll be back when I'm done. Oh, okay. Oh, that should be Maria. Ah, good morning, Auntie Maria. Good morning, my dear. You look very strong. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Maria. How was your night? I'm fine, sir. And yours? Oh, it was great. Oh, uh, Maria, I... I'll see you guys later. Yes, sir. What about breakfast? Oh, no, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I... I'm fine. So, I'll see you later. All right. All right. Well, cleaning. I'm sorry. Are you angry? Angry? Oh, no, no. Far from it. I mean, you have virtually done all I need to do this morning. So, I should be the one saying thank you. It's nothing. I do this at home every day, so it's nothing really. Your age. I mean, we raise your finger to sweep, not to talk of clean the house. It shows that you were well brought up by there. Thank you, Auntie Maria. Hey, now that you have done all that I needed to do this morning, 
I hope you will allow me to make breakfast for you. At least to say, I do I do I do it. Hi, darling. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Really? Is anything the matter? Sit. I... I want us to talk. Yeah. About what? About children. <clears throat> but it's not my fault now. I I've been trying. I didn't say it was. What All I'm saying is it's time we take it serious. I am taking it seriously. I am. I also want to have, you know, our children. I believe that um, God will do it. Uh, look, my darling. There's no time. It's close to two years we got married. Everyone expects that we should have at least one child by now. Everyone. Sweetheart, so it's because of everyone that you have been pressurizing me. Is that it? Is it this everyone that's going to carry the child? Are they the ones? Tell me. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, what is not fair in what I just said? Hmm. What is not fair in what I just said? That I should not be worried? I need to carry my own baby. I need to carry my child. Yes. There is nothing in this world that I want more than that. I know. Eh, but I'm not a baby factory now. Uh, I'm, I'm not a baby factory to be producing children everywhere. It's not like there's, there's anything wrong with me. The doctor said that we should not put pressure. No, don't put pressure on me. I should not put pressure on you that baby will come. Uh. No, there is nothing I want in this world than to have your child. Our child. But I know that the almighty God in heaven he will hear our prayers. He will give us our own children. Okay? Amen. Just, just relax. Don't you worry. Hmm? Baby is coming. Amen. It's coming. A boy and a girl. Twins at once. Even three plates. Hello sis, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine. Mm. Hey, I can see that you are a girl's cast friend. Ah, no, I work for him more, he's my boss. Mm. Yes, mm. <laughs> he does good though, he's your boss. <laughs> mm. See, girl's cast is a very good man, and you're very lucky. Thank you, so what's your name? My name is Esther. Oh, Esther. Yes. Elsie, what's your name too? Eva. Eva. Ah, your name is fine, no? <laughs> Thank you. That's what everybody says. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Sis, <laughs> what kind of job do you do for girls? Uh, well, oh, I... Oh, here you are. I, I was looking for you everywhere. Oh, I... I just decided to take a stroll and see everywhere. Mm. Auntie and Maria, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Oh, girl, Sky is back and is asking of you. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Esther. All right, see well, you around. It was nice Take to care. meet you. Ah, Auntie Maria, well done. No. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Tafasu, mm -hmm. Tafasu, What is really going on with Oscar and that um, his girl? What's that her name again? Eva or something? How do you mean? I mean, come on. You wouldn't say that you, you haven't noticed um, the way that um, two of them have been behaving. Well, I have not really noticed that. But why are you so interested about what is happening both, between both of them? Um, I don't know. I'm just um, trying to <laughs> watch out for my stepson. Yeah. I don't understand. Darling, you know that we don't know anything about this girl. We don't know about her background, where she came from, nothing about her. She's already living with your son. <laughs> Girls of this generation, you know they are very, very desperate. They will do anything to get anything that they want, especially a man. Well, Oscar, my son, is old enough to take care of himself. And I, if I know Oscar, my son, well, that girl does not fall into his league. So I know he knows what he's doing. I hope so. I hope he does. <clears throat> I really hope he does because... Uh, because Good afternoon. What a wonderful surprise. I'm I'm sorry if Yes. You will be sorry if you don't get off Oscar. He's my boss. No. I work for him. Work. What kind of work? You warm his bed anytime he wants you to. Shut up. Now listen to me. Stay away from Oscar. What did I do to deserve this? Oscar! Now, would you listen to me? Oscar belongs to me. And no one else. Do you understand? I don't care whatever plans that you have. It will not work. Oscar belongs to me and no one else. Just stop this good girl pretense of yours. And go back to where you come from. If not, if not what? Oscar. What are you doing in my apartment? I'm asking my friend. What is all this? I was just. I was just having a chat with her. So. Are you mad? Are you insane? What is wrong with you? Is this jealousy? <laughs> Oscar. Me. Lady D. Jealous of that thing. Get out. Get out of my apartment right now before I do something that I will regret. Get out! <laughs> if it's not making sweet love to you, I don't think so.
ask her. You belong to me. No, I don't. Get out. Yes, you do ask her. I said, get out. I'm so sorry about my father's wife. No. It's not your fault. But what I don't understand is why do she hate me so much? No, you, you can't say that. I don't think she hates you. It's me. She hates me and she's just transferring the aggression on you. Did you do something to her or... Wait, wait, do you know her or something? Because no. I... No, I... I, I... I think maybe... Maybe I... I just don't like the fact that my father got married to a young girl. So I think she... She, she, she kind of noticed that and she hates me for it. <laughs> what she said is... Oscar is mine. Why? I, I think she's crazy. Yeah, she's crazy. Please do not listen to whatever she says. Maybe, maybe I should just leave here. I don't know. Maybe she hates me. Maybe she thinks that just leave. No, no, you, you're not. You're not going anywhere. Listen to me. I own this compound as much as anyone else. And if I say that you're going to stay here, you will stay here. I'm not going to let anyone threaten you. And I promise that this will never happen again. Okay? Okay. Come in. Welcome. How was your day? My day was beautiful. And how was yours? It was fine, thank you. So what have you been up to? I'm just trying to read and know more, like you said. Oh yeah, that's that's very good. Um I need dinner for you. <laughs> you made dinner? I followed Auntie Maria to the market. And we bought some food stuff. <laughs> how, how did you get the money? <laughs> You've been giving me allowance every week and I don't really have anything to do with it. Except save it and I just thought that it's a good cost and I'm happy with it. Wow, you know. <laughs> you always have a way of surprising me. Oh, uh you don't like no, it. No, 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 no. That's that's not. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just surprised that you used the money to. Because I just felt like you can't be waiting on the main house to send you food when I'm around and I can cook. So why not make your food fresh and what? But I'm sorry if you don't like it. No. I'll... Stop apologizing for nothing. Thank you. Thank you. So do you want to eat now? Should I bring your food no, now? No, um, I'm just going to take my shower then. I will enjoy your food. Yeah. Okay. So you can serve it at the dining room while I go take my shower. Okay. Alright. Okay. I grew up knowing my uncle Pat lost his wife and daughter in a terrible robbery attack. He was and still 
very close to my parents. And since then, he hasn't gotten over it. You must have really, really loved them. Yeah. Because everyone has been telling him for over 20 years to, to move on. Remarry, meet someone else, you know, start a family, but I don't know, he just, I don't know, he... <sighs> it's not easy to forget the loved one and maybe even other to find love again. How do you mean? I think when you give your heart to someone, it's very difficult to get it back. It's like me. I've given my heart to you. Do it, it. Will you please? I love you. Marry me. Yes, Eva. Eva, mm? marry me. And let me love you forever. Please. Oscar. You can't just get married just like that. Who says? Eva, marry me. Listen, Eva, I want you to be the mother of my kids. Just you and you alone, please. Why don't you love me enough to marry me? Oscar, I love you with my whole life. I can do nothing without you. <laughs> I'll be the happiest woman in the world if all I had to do every day is love you. But this is too sudden. Like, you know, listen, people have to... Hey, listen to me, baby. Listen, babe. I will get married to you if it's possible tomorrow. <laughs> All I need from you is a yes. So I'm going to ask you. Oh, my God. Eva. Will you marry me? <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. I'm stressed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we get married. We get him married. I wonder what's keeping this guy. We've been waiting for like 15 minutes. Hi. Maybe there's heavy traffic, you know, sometimes the road gets blocked. Man. I like it when people keep the time. <laughs> oh, uncle, hey. <laughs> no, 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 I'm angry with you. You couldn't come to see me since you came back. I'm sorry, uncle, I... Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, um, I'm Patrick Williams. Eva, Eva will be. No, that's interesting. Um, Eva is my personal assistant, Uncle. Oh, nice, nice. That sounds interesting. <laughs> well, you know you've been a naughty boy, you know that. I know, I know. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Uncle, please forgive me. Actually, I, I I was actually planning to come over your place during the weekend. Anyway, your father told me about your new media organization. So how is it going? Um, actually, it's going well. I, we've, we, we've started uh, producing our content and I mean, that's one of the reasons why I'm here. I'm supposed to be meeting with uh, with some of my associates, you know. So, I don't know, I'm, I've been here waiting for them, but I'm sure they, they'll be here any moment from now. Yeah, we'll have a brief meeting, so I'm waiting for them. Sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is, yeah. And I, I want you to be part of it. I oh. mean, yes, I really oh, want the, to. The yes. boy wants to talk business. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. <laughs> Um, oh, well, I mean, would you want? Would you like anything? Uh, well, you know, I come here all the time, uh, but I, I, I come. You, I have not seen you once. No, actually, it's my first time here. 
Okay, yeah. this my regular place. The 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 the, the I also just pick this pick this place. So yeah. So let let what do we have? Ah, uh, bomb uh, on. What do you? Father, I want to talk to you. There is something that I would like to get off my chest. Go ahead, son. I'm all ears. I'm getting married. What? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> really? Uh, are you serious? Yes, father, I am. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, my son, you are old enough to get married. So uh, this is good news to me. <laughs> Very interesting. Congratulations, son. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Congratulations. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, Father. So, who oh, is this mysterious girl? Well, you know who she is, Father. I'm getting married to Eva. Oh, Eva. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Papa. Our daughter has told us so many good things about you. And we're happy to meet you. <laughs> Actually, Papa, it's my pleasure to help and support Eva. Do you want to marry her? Yes, Papa. With your approval, of course. I'd like to marry her. Uh, you don't need any approval as long as our daughter accepts. <laughs> thank, you. thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Papa. Thank You're welcome. You. I told you, you can see. <laughs> I told you. Yes, you, you did, you did, you did. Oh, uh, you shouldn't be doing this. Uh, uh, I want to, Auntie Maria. Stop treating me like an egg. <laughs> I know you're not an egg. Hmm? But you're not supposed to be here with the servant. Says who? Uh, uh, a servant's not human beings. Tell that to Lady D. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, eh? At times, I wonder why that woman is so cold hearted. Uh, once she comes home like this, you see everybody running into their house. she like that? I don't, I don't know. Oh. Anyway, I pray someday God touches her heart. Amen, no. <laughs> Auntie Maria, amen. Because... Oh. <laughs> now tell me, are you preparing for your wedding? <laughs> well, Oscar doesn't want a big wedding. Mm -hmm. And I agree with him, but... It's yet to pick a date. But, you know, they just opened the office. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, dear. Sorry. Why is everything okay? Are you sick? Like, I've been like this for like two days now. Sometimes I have appetite. Sometimes I don't have appetite. Sometimes I feel like vomiting. Especially in the morning. But I don't feel sick. I don't know. Are you sure you're not uh, pregnant? Oh? No. I'm not pregnant though. No. Maybe it's malaria. Malaria? Are you sure? Mm, I'm not pregnant. 
No. Are you sure about what you say? Ma, I'm 100% sure. I heard it with my two ears while she was discussing with Auntie Maria. Hmm. Interesting. She even vomited severally. She was just throwing up all over the place while they were still talking. It's okay, we can go. Thank you, Ma. You will not have that child for Oscar. Never. Where have you been? <laughs> Listen to me already? I'm not in the mood for that now. Where have you been? You left since morning and I've been trying to reach your phone and they were all switched off. Why? So, what's with all these questions? You don't trust me anymore. You know that's not what I'm saying. Well, I've been worried that maybe something wrong would have happened. Yeah. I turned off my phones. Why would you do that? Why would you turn now off your phones? <clears throat> my phone was turned off because of... This is why. What is this? Are you sure, darling? Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure this is true? Mm. You're just shouting at me, shouting. Where have you been? Where have you been? Are you angry with me now? Why would I be angry? Why would I be angry? I'm sorry. You know, you left home while I was still asleep. I tried to reach you. So I, I was just thinking that something went wrong. <laughs> Come on. Ah! <laughs> My sweet chocolate, mm -hmm. vanilla, mm -hmm. ice cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've made me the happiest man <laughs> of I'm going to be a father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will surprise you. Ooh, yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> So, you can decide to do another one. Oh, that's a good one. I mean, you know, it's a good one. It's a good one. And Maria, you have to have this. Trust my hand. You know what? I promise you, I'll prepare one for you today. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> what are you saying now? I'm fine. I can see you're very okay now. No, no, no. B, no. I'm talking no. to you. Where are you going to? What is the problem with you? We will not sleep. This heart will not contain us. Hey, 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 Eva, you or whatever name you call yourself, come. So you think you can hurt my baby? You think in that head of yours that you can use your evil plans on me? Is that what you think? You think that I don't know that you are evil? You think I don't know that you are a witch? What did I do? I Your plans will not... What, did I what do? are you doing in my dreams? Tell me, so you think that you can... 
can help me. Is that what you think? You want to pretend that you don't understand what I'm saying? You don't understand? You don't understand? Do you understand now? Do you understand now? <laughs> the next time I see you in my dreams, hey! You will know why they call me Lady D. The next time you show that ugly face of yours in my dreams. Do you understand what I mean? If I ever see you in my dreams again, it's okay, will you it's okay. shut up that dirty mouth of me? Who are you to tell me what is okay? When is okay and when it's not? Did you hit my wife? I'm asking you, did you hit my wife? Tell her to stay away from my dreams. Tell me, did you hit her? Tell her to stay away from my dreams. Do you right, understand? Oscar, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's enough. Stop what? My life is in danger, you're telling me to stop. Stop what? You call this madness. Someone is threatening my life. Someone wants to kill my baby, and you want me to keep quiet? Never! Never! Leave me alone. Leave me! This is just the beginning. I just started with you. What do you mean by that? What's the meaning of all that? What do I mean by what? Don't ask me questions you already know the answers to. I would do anything to protect myself and my child. That's if you even care. What do you mean? You think by accusing someone without a proof that you, you... What proof? What proof do I need? What other proof do I need? What has come over you? What has come over you? Why are you suddenly turning paranoid for nothing? Do you want to tell the entire world that you're pregnant? Listen. I will not Dad. sit. Dad! Dad! I beg you in the name of God, warn your wife for me! Oscar, take it easy. It's just a misunderstanding. I don't care what it is. Oscar, it's my wife. Warn her. Oscar, my wife. I still just can't understand why she despises me this much. Like, what have I ever done to her? It's like she's at war with me for something I don't know about. Like, like someone I took something from and she's fighting to get it back. Like, I just can't understand it. The hatred. She's just insane, babe. You heard the workers. She's evil. But why would she be so mean to me? When, when I just met her here. That's her nature. That, she, you just ignore her, okay? I'm trying to. But she accused me of trying to kill her baby. Listen, I don't care whatever she says. As long as she doesn't touch you. Okay? <laughs> and what makes you think she won't? <laughs> I have a feeling she's planning something. And I have a very bad feeling <laughs> about it. Babe. You don't have to get yourself worked up over this. Not now, not with the baby. And that's why I'm scared. What if she does something terrible? She won't. I know that. Hey, babe, listen, I she, know she, she that. won't. Nothing is going to happen to you or the baby. <laughs> because I'm, I'm here. I will protect you. Look at me. I'll protect you in my life. Okay? Hey, baby, don't. Hey, baby, please do not cry. You know, you know, I hurt when you hurt. Please. I, I hate to see you like this. Okay, come here. Come here, baby. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry, baby. Oh, 
Okay, I don't care about his wealth or that of his family. All I care about is his love. Love. He loves me. And really? He does. It's enough for me. Uh, really? <laughs> Oscar loves you. I don't think that because you're pregnant for him, that is now your staircase to being Mrs. Thomas. Who told you that I'm pregnant? Oh, I know you are pregnant, darling. Well, I am also pregnant. But you know what? One of us will lose it today. Do you understand? I'm going to lose it today! What am I? Good evening, Chief Bankole. It's Dr. Femi, sir. I just called to tell you that we lost the pregnancy of your wife, sir. I'm so sorry, sir. I accept my sympathy, sir. We try all we can. We could not save the child, sir. Bye, sir. What have I done again? I just lied again. I just hope he finds out the truth someday. Um, Susie, please give him the check. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I told you I was going to make you a rich man if you play your parts. Well, and I must commend you for convincing my husband that I was pregnant and that I lost it. <laughs> Thank you, mother. You're welcome. I'm also just a service. Oh, yeah. One more thing. You see, I don't think I'll be able to spend the night here. Because if I sleep here, I'll probably die. So please, I'll be spending the night in my friend's house here. And then I'll be back here by maybe like 6-ish in the morning. I need you to give me a medical cover just in case my husband decides to come here and check for me. Just cook up one story. Do whatever you need to do. Do you understand? That's not a problem, madam. I will place a call to your husband to let him know you have been placed under medical observation and you won't be coming home until tomorrow. I like you. <laughs> You're a very, very smart doctor. You're smart. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, doctor, we'll be on our way now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Susie, you. let's go. <laughs>
You'll be okay. Baby, I'm sorry. I know how much you really wanted the baby. It's okay. You will have more and more and more babies. Alright? That's not an entire thing now. Do you stop crying now? You know crying will solve the problem. Huh? Please. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you too, baby. You'll be alright. Mm -hmm. You want to get up? Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, I'd like to go to the guest room. I'll just lie down for a while. Okay, why not uh, the master bedroom? So you... No, no, I... I need to be alone for a minute. Um, I'm, I will be on my way now. Uh, no, please, please. I want you to please wait with me for a while before you go. Spend some time with me, okay? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's all right. Yeah, I'll be fine. This is going together. Mm -hmm. Um, it's actually my birthday today, so I brought you a little something. Oh, happy birthday, my dear. We should have told me before now. Oh, Mama, I don't want to bother you at all. Please, can I sit down? Oh, please, please. I'm so sorry. Well, you should have told me now. At least I would have gotten you a present or no, at least a card. I can't. really do not want you to stress it. The best birthday present you give me now is to just have what I brought for you and say a little prayer for me. That would do. Don't worry, God will bless you. You will see many, many more years to come. Mm -hmm. Very soon, you will become your own madam mm -hmm. with your own wealth, your own riches, your own house. Good health will be your portion in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Ma. This is the best birthday present I've ever gotten. It means a lot to me. You won't understand. Thank <laughs> you so much. You know what? Don't worry. Tomorrow evening, come and see me. I'll get you your present. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, please, can I pour you a drink? Ah, wow, this is much. Let me just take it to you. Okay. <laughs> That's what you're looking for. Thank you very much. Uh, do you like some ching ching or cake? They are so delicious. I made them myself. Mm. Maybe some other time. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. So, um, should I pour you some more drinks? <laughs> this one is fine. I'm sipping it more small. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to ask, uh, does your madam know that today is your birthday? Um, that one. She doesn't care about anybody except herself. Not even Olga that is her husband. Why do you? Why do you say that? Hmm. From the very first day Oga married her into this house, she's nagging, shouting, complaining, you know, fighting. Madam, uh, Madam Eva, and she's sleeping. <laughs> What are you doing with my woman? She's my what baby! Are you doing? She's my baby! Don't call me baby. That's your baby. I don't understand. You don't understand! Hey! You devil! You can't pretend! You don't understand! Hey! Baby, I don't know him, baby. Please. 
save your lives. Save your lives for another idiot that will be charmed by your innocent face. No, no, you are. You are not. What is something? Eva. You know you buy everything. I do not want to see you again. I want you to go. Go there and pack all your things and get out of my Get out! Wait, 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 wait. Just listen to me. Please just listen to me, please. Oscar! What? Get out! 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 Uh -huh. Nonsense! You think you can just come here and start acting like a madam? Huh? Now you know, Lady D. Action. Hey! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Leave! 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 Out! 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 out. Leave here! Get out! Get out! Get out! Leave this place! I said you should get out! Do you want to follow them? Who says? Hey! You! If I see any of them near this house, you will lose your job! Do you understand? Lock this gate! You can't go on like this, my dear. Eh? At least, if not for anything, think of your unborn child. The pain is too much, Auntie Maria. It's too much. Why don't I just die? Why don't I live with this shame? Don't talk like that, Eva. That is not what one wishes for oneself. Please. It's okay, my dear. Stop crying. Just believe that the Lord will fight your battles. And all will be well. No, Auntie Maria. How can I be well? How can Oscar do this to me? Listen to me. Oh. Life is more than what meets the eye. She has done her worst, yes. But it's okay. Be very strong. For one thing I know in this life, evil will never go unpunished. It's okay. Hmm? Just eat something. I hate him. I hate him with all my life. Who? Oscar? You can't blame him. I blame him for everything. He never loved me. He only used me as bait to get back at me, did he? I gave him everything. I never knew any man before Oscar. I've never loved any man before Oscar. I gave him everything. I've never slept with any man before Oscar. I told him everything about me. And Oscar told me nothing. But rather he manipulated me. I, I, I was quite shocked when you told me about them. <laughs> but are you sure Lady D is telling the truth? You know that woman? She's evil and, and she can just... She wasn't lying at him, Maria. She was telling the truth. No wonder they say the truth is bitter. I can't. 
can never forgive Oscar. Never. I do all wrongs, okay? okay? Not this one, Auntie Maria. Not this one. Not this one. <laughs> it's okay. Ah, hurry up. Mm -hmm. You can drop it here. Yeah, thank you. That's all, yeah? Just um, go back to what you were doing at the backyard. You don't understand? Quick. Here you go. Uh -huh. Ready? Oh, sweetheart, yes. <laughs> I, I made you your favorite. Oh, good. Sit. Thank you, love. You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. What are you? You want to wash your hands? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Are you not eating? Uh, not at all. Not at all. I, I had something to eat earlier. Oh. Yes. Let me mix it very well. That's all right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We eat and cheese. Amen. 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 <laughs> I know what you can do. <laughs> so it's nice, nice, eh? So nice. Mm, very nice. Are you sure you don't want to eat no, something? No, I'm fine. I've had something to eat already. <laughs> <laughs> you need water. Water. Oh, let me, yeah. let me. Water. You need some water. You are the best cook in the world. Mm, I know. I will soon relieve you of your mission. But first, you need to sign this. <laughs> you know, everyone thinks that you're abroad for your medical condition and you want to be left alone. That's why they can't reach you. <laughs> your businesses, everyone is getting used to having you around. Ah! The new CEO in town. <laughs> you know, I give key decisions, I make the key decisions. And they will pay me. Well, I guess it's your decision as well. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> My darling. Finally! Freedom at last. Oh, 
day has come. <laughs> I'm the only one you have right now. Yes. Me. Even your son, Oscar. <laughs> that one is nowhere to be found. I wouldn't be surprised if he has gone back to London. Oh, gosh. Hmm. I miss him so much. The first one. You have to sign these documents. Listen, if you do not sign these papers, I would make sure that you die slowly. Do you understand? You will sign these papers now. <clears throat> Sign it, damn you! You have to sign this paper. You will sign this paper. You will. Do you understand? To her. I know nothing bad will happen to her. I know, you know, I, she would deliver like the Hebrew women. Yes, I know, because that's your promise. I know. Yes. Him. I told you he wants to sleep. Don't mind him, Mo. He's not. I have rocked him. But this young man is not interested in sleeping at all. Are you? Are you? Uh, children, eh? Has he eaten? He has now. I give him food. Oh, don't worry. He will sleep very soon. <laughs> this Ooh. one, sleep very soon. <laughs> I was going to ask you something. What is it, Auntie Maria? Have you heard from um, your grandma? <laughs> no, not since I got here. Don't you think it would be wise for you to go and see them? <laughs> At least for them to see your child. Mm -hmm. You can't stay angry with them forever. <laughs> I know, thanks to you, Auntie Maria. <laughs> but I... No buts. Hmm? No buts. If not for anything. 
but for the love and care they had for you and brought you up. At least they deserve to be happy for this wonderful child you have. Hmm? For God's sake, Eva, please try and make peace with them. Okay, Antonia. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have not done anything anymore that I would not do. <laughs> uh -uh. Mm? Esther. Ogalska. What, what are you doing here? Sir, I'm out of job, so I'm just looking for vacancy around. Are you no longer working for my father? Esther, what is it? Are you okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Please. Ogalska, I've wronged you. Please forgive me. <laughs> Please get up, get up. Ogoska, please. Please, please. I'm up. sorry. Stop, stop embarrassing me. Get Ogoska, up. Ogoska, please. Let me just please. stay like this. No, 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 no. Please get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Uh, why? Why would you do that? What are you sorry about? Say so it's Eva. She didn't do any of those things she was accused of. She was set up by Lady D. Ogoska, you can't. You can do whatever you want to do to me. You can get me arrested or send me to jail. My conscience has not been at rest since that day. I, I lied. I lied against. I lied against her. She was. She was drugged and set up. Oh, Oscar, I'm so sorry. Please. It, it's. It wasn't my fault. I didn't do it on my own, lady. Lady, they asked me to do it. I am sorry. Please forgive me. My life has never remained the same ever since I did what I did to Eva. She's so innocent. I'm sorry. Please, sir. Please. I beg you. Ogalska, hey God, hey, Ogalska, Ogalska, please, sir, please, sir, Ogalska, please forgive me so that my life can be better. Ogalska, hey, every time I look for you, it's like you're tired of this job. The next time I don't see you at that post, you will lose your job, and I will not pay you your salary. Get up and go back to your post. And you, you. You can't do simple cleaning. You can't even cook. There's nothing you cannot do. I keep complaining and complaining. What do I pay you for? The next time I complain, <laughs> you will go back to your village. Get out of here! You! You! You evil woman. How could you do that to Eva? Liar. You are a liar. I saw Esther and she told me everything. So you will believe it is what I will do anything to spoil her madam's name. I pity you. You still have the nurse stand before me and lie to my face. What has she ever done to you? Tell me. Pascal, you know what? You can believe whatever you want to <laughs> You know what? Hitting you is not even enough punishment for what you have done. You ruined my life. I had a perfect woman. <laughs> perfect! Oh, come on, Oscar. You're just infatuated. No. Let me tell you something. You see, this hatred and jealousy inside of you will be the end of you. But I tell you what, you're going to go out there. I will look for her. I will find her. And when I do, I will tell her how sorry I am. And then I will tell her that I love her more than anything in this world. And then you can die. Sorry, Where's my father? Did Esther also tell you that I killed him? I eaten him. Is she? Leave it down. 
I pity you. I pity you. Um, I guess you remember the first place we, we met with Oscar. Okay, so join me here. Oh, you're here. Sit down. I, I, I hope you're all right. What's the problem? Sir, please, I need a job. I know you're a very busy man, and I'm sorry for the intrusion. But, sir, I need a job so I can take care of my son at night. You will have a son now? Yes, sir. How old is he? Seven months. But I have an auntie who can take care of him. Okay, it's okay. Um, did, you, did, did you have it for Oscar? Yes, sir. Where has he been? Have you seen him? I don't want to have anything to do with Oscar, sir. And sir, please, if you give me a job, please, I don't want him to know. But you know, Oscar's father and I are friends. I know that, sir. But sir, if they know, I'll go where they can find him. Okay, uh, you got a job. Uh, but then, what, what can you do? What's your qualification? Nothing really, sir, but I'm not lazy. <sighs> All right. Um, you were PA to Oscar when we met. Yes, sir. Report for work. 8 o'clock tomorrow. <sighs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so, so much, sir. All yeah. the reward you are born down to. It's OK. Um, Thank you, sir. Right. Um, so I'd like to take my leave now. Okay, not, not before that. Let me look for some portrait for you. Yep. Sir. Oh, all of this, sir. Just wrong. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. It's Thank okay. you so much, sir. Yeah. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. And don't forget to say me well to your son. <laughs> Yes, sir, I will. <laughs> sir, I know, I know you must have heard about what happened between Oscar. But I want you to believe me. I never did anything they said. I didn't. Please, sir. I believe you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll be at the office early tomorrow morning, sir. Thank you so much, sir. That's my joy. Sir. That's my joy. Yes. Sir. Be careful. Yes. Sir. Right, Good night, sir. Bye bye, right. sir. It's okay, maybe I'll come back later. Oh, is that Uncle? Uncle, please, please come in, Uncle, please. Ah, uh, he's coming. I, I, I thought it was one of my staff. It's okay, it's okay. okay. Thank you very much. Oh, so, how have you been? Honestly, let's get on. I'm, I'm not fine. I had what happened. I decided. Don't mind whatever my father said or his wife. It's all a lie. It's all a devilish lie to make me send Eva away, Uncle. Why do you have to say that? I heard the truth, Uncle. Esther, one of the maids, confessed to me. She told me how my father's wife planned it all, Uncle. And I fell for it, Uncle. Oh, 
How could I have done such a cruel thing to the woman that I'm supposed to love? Oh, no. oh. Because she's carrying my job. She's carrying my job. Oh. I don't know where to find her. <laughs> Give me a search for her. I have uncle. Uncle, I've searched for her. I've searched for her everywhere, uncle. I even put an advert on the TV. But still, nothing. Nothing. It's alright, Oscar. I'm sure when you explain things to her, she's gonna understand. She will definitely understand, okay? Okay. I just hope I find her. I just want to find her. What do I do? What do I do to myself? What do I do? Oscar, come on. Come on. What do I do? What do I do? Will you listen to me? You listen to me? Yes, Uncle. I can assure you that she will understand, okay? We should forgive me. Trust me. I, 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 I. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Out. Are you, are you okay? It's fine. Are you alright? Is, is everything okay, sir? Where did you get this from? My my grandparents also I thought till some time back gave it to me. They said it belonged to my mother. Your mother? And where is this your mother? Sir, is everything alright, sir? Did they tell you who she is? I I really don't know much. My grandparents told me for the first time that I wasn't their child. Jesus. They said that they found me beside the dead body of a woman who was probably killed by robbers or kidnappers. And then they took me in. Wow. Is, that, oh. Oh. is everything all right, sir? I, I couldn't be better. I, I couldn't be better. Oh. That woman was your mother. I, I, I don't understand. We were coming from an event some years ago. We were attacked by a group of armed robbers. And they killed her. Oh my God. I named you Makida when you were born. M Makida? Yes. And you can attest to the fact that you have a bet mark on your tummy. Yes, yes. My father had it also. You're my daughter. I've been waiting for, looking for all these years. Come. My God. I found you at last. At last. And what are you doing here? Um, uh, Eva, I... It's Makida. My name is Makida. Okay, um... I'm sorry, but... Makida, please hear me out. Hear what? Why should I listen to you? Maybe... Because I was a fool. <laughs> And I'm sorry. Is that confession that you were set up? That's still news now. In fact, I've decided to leave the past in the past and focus on the future. And you, Oscar, you are that past I so need to forget. Oh, babe, I'm so sorry. Please, 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 please. You're embarrassing me. Please get up. I'm sorry, baby. Please, please forgive me. Please, please Mr. Man, do you realize this is an office? Please get up. 
I thank you with everything that you hold there. For the sake of the love that we shared, babe. Did you remember that when you refused to listen to me? Did you remember what we shared when you kicked me out and pushed me out of your house like a common whore? Did you remember your promises? When you pushed me out with your baby in my womb and you called me a prostitute? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Forgive. I've done that a long time ago. So I can never forget. Baby, baby, please. I promise that I will do anything I can to make this up to you. Please, let's go back to the way things were before. Oscar oh. Thomas or whatever you call yourself, I think your time here is done. Please, you need to leave. I'm sorry. Oh, get out of my... Do you want me to call the security? Get out! <laughs> Get out. Get out! I am. It's just that I won't do what he wants me to do. There you go again. How long will you continue to shut him off your life? As long as forever, if possible. Daddy, you don't understand. Oscar hurt me. He really did hurt me. I know he hurt you so badly. But you have to forgive. You have to learn to forgive. Even the Bible says we should forgive. I can't. Really, I have tried. But I just can't. Makina, you need to try harder. That boy loves you. He was deceived. But now he's remorseful. He's a different person. He loves you dearly. Daddy, I don't want to have anything to do with Oscar. You remind me of my secret I believe in. I'm not a happy man. I lost the best thing that ever happened to me. You know who that is? Your mother. My love. Each day I tried to see if I could forget her. I tried if I could just... I, it wouldn't just come. I, I, I can't have her back, but you can have yours back. You have a whole long future ahead of you. You can. Kida, can you find it in your heart to forgive him? Thank you. Trust me, you're gonna be happy. Okay? I will ever remember this day. <laughs> Small <Smoke> dude. <laughs> Baby, la 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 la. <laughs> Yeah, Oscar, I, I have... Let me pray. Because one person has to pray. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Oscar, I'm deeply worried about your father. Have you heard from him all the while? Um, actually, Uncle, I've not been to the house since I heard what they did, did, did to Makeda. It's strange. His phone has not been accessible for the past one year. And each time I call Lady D, she would always say he's incorporated in India. The doctor said this, the doctor said that, and that it said it should rest, blah, 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 all those things. Well, Esther said that he's in the mansion, and the doctor comes to treat him there. I mean, it's, it's confusing. I don't trust anything that woman says, though, because it could actually be in the mansion, 
Or she could have done something to him. That woman is capable of anything. That woman is evil. Well, um, Oscar, you, you need to go about it fast to locate your father. Should you need my assistance, please call me. But as for me, I think something is not just right. Thank you. What's going on here? Madam, good morning. Are you Lady D? I am Lady D. Madam, you are under arrest. Arrest? Arrest for what? I will advise you remain silent because whatsoever you say here will be used against you in court of law. Where is your warrant of arrest? If I were you, I would do as they say. Anyway, as you can see, you don't have time to go here. Please get into the car. Officer, move out. Move. I will deal with you. This is not over. I will deal with all of you. I will deal with you. I'm talking to you. Respect yourself.